Well, today, friends, we are getting some things done around the house. First task, of course, was to take a sip of my coffee and then get going on cleanup of the kitchen. This is a daily routine and task that I do. Yes, we do have a dishwasher, but it's one of those dishwashers where you literally wash the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. So that's something we, if we really wanted the dishwasher, we should invest in. But for now, I enjoy hand washing and just the satisfaction of getting that cleaned up. And then there are just things strewn about the counter. So my breast pumps needed to be put away and I had some overripe bananas that needed peeled and frozen for future smoothies or banana breads, books on the counter, um, just lots of extra little things that need to be put in their proper place. And that's something that I feel like can add up. If you just put something on a counter, the next day it's still there and still there. So just taking that little extra time to put it away, this literally took five to 10 minutes. And then I had pulled out my sourdough out of the fridge after I had washed the jar. And so I'm just refilling that for the week because I use it probably three or four times a week. So just feeding that with my water and flour. You can't have a day in the summer if you have a cut flower garden where you don't have fresh flowers in the house. So I'm getting another pitcher, filling it up with water, and gonna go cut some flowers from my cottage style garden. If you missed that little tour I shared of my garden, then I'll put that in the description box for you. It's, I think, going on two, two and a half years of this garden. It's not exactly how I imagined it. It's a little overgrown. It's very cottagey and whimsical and really carefree. So it's just fun to go out and cut blooms. I have shared so many with friends and neighbors. It's been wonderful. And also just put them in every room in my house, multiples in the kitchen and in the living space. So I just needed to refresh some dead blooms with some of mine that I have, like some bee balm, some uh, Shasta daisies that are still in bloom, some mint, and I think an herb yarrow possibly i'm not sure but then it's time to go pick some produce it's the time of year where gardening is a must if you have a garden where you're out there every day checking the plants to see if they need water if they need weeding to see if they have produce on them and it was a day where i got a basket full of green beans and was able to make those up with our supper that you'll see tonight <laughs> for a while I put my fresh flowers on our side table and then it was time to get to washing the beans and taking care of snapping those I can't go a video without sharing laundry. That is a must. Laundry, laundry, laundry. Especially with two littles and then newborn on top of it. It's just constant. And summer is a time of year where I feel like two or three outfits can be worn when you get hot and sweaty, when everybody gets a little bit dirtier. All right, baby wearing time. With this third, I have realized I have worn him a lot more than I wore my other two. But if you wanna get things done and you don't want them crying the whole time, I think this is what it has to be done, at least in my opinion right now. Anyways, I'm making some protein bars because I eat those while I nurse or a snack in the middle of the night because I just get hungry. So this recipe is over on my blog if you are interested in it. And it's just such a delicious treat and nice to have for a quick homemade bar that is on hand. Mm -hmm. 
back outside for some fresh basil. It's time to make some pesto. As you can tell, our basil is prevalent. It's growing in our aquaponics system along with some other plants. And then out to look at my corn. We had a lot of rain lately, which is a blessing, but it knocked my corn over. And I was just checking to see how things are doing. So they're looking good so far, but there's also some issues coming along with the corn that we'll see if it grows out of that. my pesto I use walnuts instead of pine nuts because they're a cheaper nut. Pine nuts are extremely expensive. So I'm just getting that made up and add some garlic, some walnuts, and then my fresh basil goes in and then I'm using salt and some olive oil to put in after that's all mixed and it's just a really simple recipe that is delicious on pizza, delicious on pasta, um, to make a dressing with. You can use pesto for a lot of different things. All right, I received several packages today, as you can tell, and it's time to open them. The first package that I am opening is a VACTA-D T8 vacuum. So I'm gonna take a little time to share about this vacuum. There is an incredible deal going on right now when this video comes out, because it is Prime Day. So if you go to Amazon, there is a wonderful deal happening. So over on Amazon, the special is 47% off. The original price is $299, but you will pay $159 a great deal for a wonderful vacuum. This vacuum has a two-in-one mopping robot vacuum, so it's got some strong suction power. It removes the dust and debris very quickly on hard floor, on carpet, and then you can switch it out to adjust to the mop. There are four levels of the water flow as well on that. It has GyroNav tech, so that reduces the chance of bumping into different obstacles and it is slim and quiet. So this vacuum is not like your normal handheld vacuum. It's pretty quiet. All my kids are not afraid of it. My little one sleeps through it. And so it's got less than 60 decibels in the quiet mode, which is wonderful for sound. So head to Amazon for the Prime Day special to get your 47% off the Vactity robot vacuum. And that will be in the description box for you if you are interested in purchasing this wonderful robot vacuum. Well, I feel like my day went by very quickly. As you could tell, I did speed a few things up. So it does make the day go a little faster. But supper tonight was just a tuna casserole with some extra veg and some cheese on top. And then the fresh green beans from the garden. So I hope you enjoyed the quick get it all done video. It was a full day for me, even though it was only a little over eight minutes of watch time for you. But enjoy your day, get done what you can, and have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.